okay, if you're here, you can go with me. I'm going, I'm going back down to Selma, Alabama, and I'm going to take a journey back home, down there where I was raised and, and where it was sweet and people were poor. I was afraid half the time, and we didn't know how we were going to get over. So hold on and come on, let's just go back. Come on, go back with me. This is a picture of my grandmother's house. She was a big influence in my life, but when I look back at this picture of her old house and the memories I have, it reminds me of a poem that we had to learn and recite in the fifth grade, The House with Nobody in It by Joyce Kildner. Whenever I walk to Suffern along the eerie track, I go about poor old farmhouse with its shingles broken and black. I suppose I've passed it a hundred times, but I always stop for a minute and look at that house, the tragic house, the house with nobody in it. But a house that's done what a house should do, a house that's sheltered life, that has put his loving wooden arms around a man and his wife, a house that has echoed a baby's laugh and held up his stumbling feet. It's the saddest sight when it's left alone that ever the eye could meet. So whenever I go to Selma along the eerie track, I never pass that poor old house without stopping and looking back. Thank you for spending this simple, special moment with me.